Hi, my name is Taylor Thomas and I'm a digital nomad that moved from Tennessee to Mexico. And today I'm gonna to share my three tips for people who are moving from the States or from another country to Mexico. I know in a lot of the bigger cities you can get by without really knowing or speaking any Spanish at all, but if you want to really experience the culture, then speaking the language or at least trying to is one of the best ways to do it. Learning some Spanish will also help you avoid getting scammed in touristy areas, which happens unfortunately quite a bit in the larger cities. You can also use your Spanish to negotiate prices when you're shopping in certain areas. For example, I bought this handmade beach towel for half of the price they were trying to sell it to me for because I was using Spanish to negotiate. Tip number two is getting a bicycle. I recommend getting a bicycle if you live in a city like Playa del Carmen, which is where I live, because a lot of the things that you like to go to, like restaurants and shopping, are pretty close by, but they're just a little further away than you would like, possibly if you're not living right in Centro. I live in Playa Car, so it's about a 15 minute bike ride to get to all the things that I wanna to get to. So for me and for a lot of other people, having a bike is one of the best options. And another benefit of riding your bike every day is you're getting a lot of exercise. Now, of course, if you're going on a date, maybe just take a taxi instead, so that way when you show up, you're not super sweaty. But in most situations, just ride your bike. Well, with the exception of going on long day trips to cenotes or to other cities. Tip number three is make friends with the locals. They can show you the best affordable restaurants, the best hiking spots, and the best scuba diving spots, which is my personal favorite. Also, this tip kind of blends into tip number one, which is learning the language. Having friends that are native to Mexico will help you learn the language so much faster than almost any other method out there because you're not so much learning the language, it's almost like you're just kind of absorbing the language or acquiring the language. So it's a lot more effective in my opinion. Well, that's all I have for today's video. I hope this was helpful. And if you're moving to Mexico soon or if you're just maybe thinking about moving to Mexico later on and you have questions, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer those as fast as possible. Take care.